Hey Brad, you want to show everybody what we've been doing lately? Sure. So this is our vision for a remodel of our bathroom. Okay. So we got this butcher box counter Ooh, so we nice. purchased. And uh, so that's going to go on here. Okay. We decided to go with a vessel sink. So mm -hmm. that's going to go right like that. Mm -hmm. Something like that. We're going to go with black fixtures in here. So I want to show you this. So this is actually a kitchen faucet. We needed to go with something that's bigger and higher. Uh, the bathroom faucets were too short. So some oh, of the vessel yeah. sinks out there, the faucet will sit up. Mm -hmm. But the way this is configured, we actually had to go with a kitchen faucet. So this is going to go something like this, and this does move. Nice. And so, yeah, something like that. I love it. <laughs> okay. It's really sharp. And Oma, why don't I show them what the old fixture looked like in the old sink? Can you see that? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so if you're able to see this, Maybe that'll give you a little comparison. I don't mm -hmm. have the old countertop in here, but it was pretty bad. If you saw our first episode, you'll see me ripping everything out of here. So your first thought might be, Brad, that's a lot of weight, you know, putting in the bathroom. And yeah, it is. But out in the dinette area, we're going to be doing some big changes that are going to remove some weight there. So we are aware that we have to keep a consistent weight or less than a weight. You know, we don't want to add too much weight. So, um... This was Oma's idea. She looked on Pinterest and we're trying to figure out, again, if you look at episode one, you'll see that the toilet paper roll was up here and it's kind of a high spot for it. So we decided to put the toilet paper roll in here. So we're not going to put the cabinet door back on here. Cabinet door is going to go on this right side, but in here, um, I'll show you what we have planned. So basically this is going to go something like this. This will be painted navy blue, just like the cabinet. This will sit in here. I'm not going to put it in straight, but this will be painted navy blue. Mm -hmm. Picture this painted navy blue as well. And this piece here is going to sit in there. It won't fit in there unless I take the top off, but this piece is going to go at an angle to here. So when you're sitting on the toilet, you can reach in. The toilet paper roll is going to sit here vertically. Okay. So it's going to stay dry. Up here where we had it, it was hard for the young kids to reach. Mm -hmm. And also it would get wet. You'd get some splattering. And by the way, this is why we wanted to go with a deeper vessel sink. Because a lot of the vessel sinks you're going to see in these RVs are short. And I've had a small sink in the past in our home years ago. And you can get a lot of splattering. By the way, this faucet has um, a nozzle that'll come down and you can adjust different types of flow. So um, we should be able to configure this so that when this comes in this vessel sink, you wash your hands, the water is gonna stay in. Cause we are aware we don't want too much water on this. And so we're gonna probably put a good six, seven, eight coats of poly on this. What kind of poly are you gonna put on it? This we're gonna time? use a water-based poly this time. In our house on our butcher block counter in our bathroom, we used oil base. Mm -hmm. When you go to put on your varnish, if you're using an oil base, it can add a little bit more of a yellow-orange to it. And mm -hmm. it, it's okay. It just gives a little, little different look. But in here, we're going to try water base, and we're going to see what that looks like. So you're saying that the water base doesn't yellow as much or like make it look as orangey as the oil base, right? In theory. Okay, um, we'll And we'll so find we'll out. find out because we'll be able to compare okay. this butcher block with the water base versus our home's butcher block with the oil base. So again, picture this painted navy blue like the cabinet and then the toilet paper roll. We'll play with it if we wanted something like this or back a little. So that's going to sit here. So it's going to be much easier to reach and get at and it's going to stay dry. And why did you put the piece of wood in the back to begin with though? Why not just either, I don't know, glue it on or screw it onto that? Is it thick enough? The hardware that this will affix to, mm -hmm. Um, goes on here first. So I'm going to drill it, have everything drilled, kind of like dry fit everything, and then paint it. Okay. And then put this on and then set it back in here and then probably just put a couple small little screws in to hold it. Okay. Um, and then that false back that you're putting on there, why? Well, it's more for aesthetics because when you're reaching here, why don't I just actually sit on the stool? Just kind of give you an idea here. Um, <laughs> I know, a little awkward, but um, 
So that piece of wood is going to go from here mm -hmm. and it's going to stop about here. So picture that going like this painted navy. Like so an when angle. you go, yeah, so when you go to grab that toilet, when you go to grab that toilet paper, mm -hmm. look how easy that is. Whereas before, I don't know if you can see up here again, here, it was yeah. up here. You'd have yeah, to come up here. Yeah, it really is. And it would get wet. And uh, so, yeah, that's kind of a cool fix. Mm -hmm. So, and the thought is, is when we put this piece of wood on here, we're going to want to make it such that it's removable because we're going to want to, you know, every now and then we're going to want to look in here and make sure we don't have a leak. But of course we can reach in here and see. What else do you have planned in here? <clears throat> oh, hang on, what else do we have planned in here? <laughs> okay, so... Um, we don't spend a lot of time in the shower, okay? But as you can see, this is in pretty good shape. So in this, the camper, that yeah, is. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. So um, this will be switched out, and it's going to be an RV um, faucet and an RV wand, but it's going to be black. It's oh, going to nice. be new. So yep. we're going to switch that out. So we're not going to spend a lot of money there. Mm -hmm. We use the water in here a lot. And mm -hmm. we hardly ever use our kitchen faucet. We don't drink the water out of our faucet. We drink bottled water. So it makes more sense for us to put more money here mm -hmm. in this area mm -hmm. than in the kitchen. Maybe, can I give you a sneak peek of what we might do in the kitchen? Our, how are the walls holding up so far? Good question. So um, these walls have been curing for two weeks, okay? Mm. So a lot of people will prime, paint an hour later with another coat of primer. They'll paint a couple hours, four or six hours later, maybe another, the next day they'll paint again. So if you prime it, wait 24 hours, prime it again, and then you wait a full day or two, you put your first top coat on, and then you wait another three, four days, you put your second top coat on, mm -hmm. you're gonna have this cure. And we use a real quality paint. I'll put a link in the description box for that. But um, so you have, like when this cures, it's hard, like a lot of fingers holding on. So this, <laughs> there'll be a mirror here, but, and I got some fingernails. So, you know, that would probably scratch where the wallpaper adhesive is mm -hmm. or where the, excuse me, where the seam is. So can I, Oma, can I show them one more thing here? So you're going to see a lot of these guys when they do these RVs, mm -hmm. they're going to take a, like a white paintable caulk and they're going to fill these in. So like here, look at more, maybe here and here. Okay? okay. So when you're putting four coats of paint on here, you're really starting to fill these corners up a little bit over time. So you may or may not need to do that. This down here is loose. So I was thinking of just pulling this whole piece off but the walls are kind of moving a little bit. So I'm gonna yeah. try to just get it back on there better. And then just caulk it? Put a little caulk in here. Nice, yep. what about caulking at the top of the, <clears throat> the top here too? Yeah, okay. um, if I had to do this all over again, like I said, besides spray painting up here, I probably would have went and put a little caulk in here. Nice. But yeah, we can put a little caulk in here. Sure. If it starts to yellow over time, we can just put another coat of paint on the wall. We're gonna, we were gonna wallpaper in here, but not sure. I, yeah, I don't know. It this just, just looks so nice. I don't know if we need to wallpaper. It just, it really pops. We're going to have a big, huge mirror. I think it's like a 30 inch mirror. It's round. And then we're going to have the black metal around it. So it'll tie in with the, with the sink and the other, and the faucet in the shower as well. Um, yeah, and then the door, oh, can yeah, you talk, talk about the door? Well, we're going to paint the door white. So we're going to have both sides of the door white. So another thing, Oma, I don't know if you can see this. The other thing I want to tell our viewers is here where the door frame is wrapped in that molding and it's like that shiny plastic, hard plastic. So on this side here, I did paint the trim. Sorry for the mess. Uh, we're in the middle of the remodel. but So I did paint the trim on this side and it does hold up. Over time, if this starts to wear, we'll just pull it off and we'll trim it with some, you know, light pine wood. So we're gonna put a new doorknob on here that locks too. The other one didn't lock. And so, yeah, we got two grand babes that think it's funny to open the door on you. Hey, Opa. Hi. <laughs> Fancy seeing you here. Yeah, small world, huh? <laughs> Speaking of small world. I know, isn't Meet precious? Anthem. Anthem, meet the GoPro. Meet the world. Mm -hmm.
Very precious. Isn't he though? Beautiful evening, Opa. We got a bump here, Oma. We're gonna slow it down. <laughs> hey, hi. Look at them little feet. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Anthem. You look so comfortable. Yeah. Oh, we love you. <laughs> <laughs>